All right, Zach with PH Data here again. And now we are going to run through some functionality that is enabled by a Streamlit application on the front end. So what I have here is a Streamlit application running and hosted within Snowflake. And that allows me to interact with the data that's in Snowflake, as well as the stored procedures and user-defined functions that we previously uh, set up using Python. So the first thing I'm going to do with this application is I want to point it at the data that contains uh, the information I want to use to train and evaluate my machine learning model. So in that case, uh, it is in a view here I have called ML data view which lives within this particular database. So I have uh, drop downs where I'm able to select uh, what I want to point my data at. The next thing I'm able to do is within this table, I have a number of different uh, features that are supplied by the uh, marketplace share that we're using. So um, we have data uh, that's provided by ERCOT down in Texas, and that's got uh, energy demand forecasts, wind generation, solar generation. Uh, so I'm able to go through, pick a number of features that I want to incorporate and use uh, in my machine learning model. Next thing I'm able to do is pick start and end dates for my training data. And then the fi finally, the last thing I want to do is select the column which I want to predict, which is the energy price. I'm able to select the factors. And then in this expandable uh, tab below, I get a preview of my data that I've picked. So the different factors, the price. I get a graph here of, of price over time. And then I can see how the factors are correlated with each other. So you could explore your data set a little bit, try to find the factors that are most correlated with uh, the price, which is what you're ultimately trying to predict. And then I've already ran our hyperparameter optimization using Optuna, but it's gone through and found um, the best settings for our XG Boost model here. So uh, 16 X estimators with a max depth of 25. Next thing we're able to do is evaluate um, on any given day within our um, test set how our model performed. So we can see ground truth versus prediction here. So this is looking at 924, 2023. We can see how well the model was able to predict versus what actually happened and what the actual price was. That's at the daily level. We can look at a, a larger view here in a section below. So we can see overall MSE and MAE metrics. You can see ground truth versus actual and then look at uh, MAE or MSE over time. And then when we're ready, we can uh, come down here and deploy our model. And what this would do then is every 15 minutes, it would look for new data in this view. And if there have been changes to this view, it would then take those new rows and make predictions and write those out to a table we have here called energy forecasting target. So this is how a streamlit front end could be used to enable uh, analysts to create and deploy their own machine learning model.